Hey guys, how's it going? Enzyme here. Welcome to part 31 of my Elden Ring playthrough. And as you can see, our character looks a little different today. Yeah, between the last episode and this one, I went back to a Stormvale Castle. Uh, because I heard that some I missed some things. And oh boy, did we miss some things. <laughs> it's real unfortunate that you guys didn't get to see what we found. Uh, but I found this thing over here, the Crimson Hood. It belonged to Roderica. A hood of vivid crimson. Worn by expatriated royalty increases vigor. Such cloaks were gifted to those who departed on journeys without specific orders to faraway lands from which they would never return. In other, way, in other words, the gift of a cloak made it easier for undesirables to be on their way. Roderica never once saw the guidance of grace. Yep, so she was exiled essentially. To come to this land where she became sad and then became a spirit tuner. Alright, so uh, not only does this cloak increase our vigor, but it also looks pretty cool. So this is our new favorite item. Alright, so this time we are definitely going to check out the ancient tunnels all the way at the end of this ravine. Oh, and and we also fought a uh, another crucible knight, a small crucible knight. in uh, Stormville Castle, and yes, it was as bullshit as the Crucible Knight was, except it's just a little easier. It was less bullshit because I killed him faster. Alright, let's go and pass all of these land squirts into the ancient passageway. Oh, look. That's a tree. A golden seed from a golden tree. Gold is the most liberating of colors. Where there is a golden door, there must be a golden key. Ah. Here's an item, Smithing Stone 5. Very nice, very nice. So I think we're on the right track. And a Lost Grace. I want to check around um, this corner to see if I didn't miss anything over here. Aha! Ash of War, Barbaric- Oh shit, fuck, that startled me! What the fuck? Jump. Yep. I knew there was something behind me from uh from from the um from the noises they were making. But I didn't expect them to appear so startlingly. Okay, where are we going? Over here. Let's look at the new Ash of War that we got. Ash. Oh, over here. You went too far. Here we go. Barbaric Roar. Alright. Grants the heavy infinity and the following skill. Barbaric Roar lets loose a bestial roar to rally the spirit and increase attack power. While active, strong attacks change to savage combo attacks. Usable in melee armaments except whips. I guess you can't be a barbarian and wield a whip. Man. The humidity in my room is super low. Because my parents have the heat on. And now my lips are super dry. Alright. Let's head on up to this ancient tunnel. That will allow us to bypass the Dectus Lift. 
All right. Land shark. I hope we're not going to be undergeared or underleveled. It's it's hard to tell. It's really hard to tell. Like you have to use smithing stones as your guide, right? Like, hey, am I going to be undergeared here? Am I getting smithing stone 8 when I should be getting smithing stones 4 or 5? Smithing stone 4. Okay, I think we're fine here. I think we are going to be just fine here. Yep. Four hit on these guys. Smithing stone four. Ah, ladder. Okay. I think we're right where we need to be. Be wary of poison. Ah. Vulgar militia armor. Are there any other ones? Yeah, you and you and you. All right. Oh, pygmies. All right. All right. Let's uh, let's do the smart thing here. Ha! <laughs> I love that. Go fuck yourself, buddy. Oh shit. Or poison. I guess that's what be wary of poison means. Spinning stones four and in inventory. Pinning blood loss, poison, boost boost immunity, negation, boost stamina. Restores the HP but causes poison buildup. We have no poison healing, huh? Can we craft an item that heals poison? Madness buildup alleviates... Alleviates... Alleviates poison buildup? Please, Jesus Christ. Alright, never mind then. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Let's do this. Try to offset some of those poison damage that's over here. Lift down. Dude, like, this defense buff from, from our flask is fucking huge. It's such a massive buff. We take, like, practically no damage while we're buffed with the defense from our flask. God damn it. Those are mines, huh? Poison mines. Huh. <laughs> mines in the mines. Who would have thought? Any items here? Mm. We might have passed a spot where we could jump, could have jumped down and hit an item. Maybe. Well, let's send it back down. Miners. Are they are they aggressive? Alright, let's recover some HP from hit from the crit. Are they aggressive? That guy is certainly aggressive, right? Alright, let's recover some HP from a critical hit. Gold rune five. Yep, I think we are on the right track. Cracked crystal. Shh, quiet, quiet. Mm -hmm. 
Fuck your jumping attack, man. Alright, I think there might be poison over here, too. Yeah. Be wary of trap and down. Yeah, yep, those things. I see those caltrop looking things. Okay. Lightning grease. Just gotta be careful. Watch where we step. Well, our flask buff is gone. It was good while it lasted. Okay, you, you, you. Alright, we got two people. Two potential aggressors here. We're gonna... Well, we're gonna be the aggressor. Ah, I see. They got the- oh, <laughs> fuck you! Oh shit, fuck me! God damn it. Oh, I almost got bled. Okay, that would've been bad. Um, let's see if I we can't- Alright. I really wish I could deal a critical hit on him. Rune arc and a plant. Okay. Something glowing over there. Smithing stone four and somber smithing stone four. I think we need somber smithing stone fives right now. Be careful here. Well, we'll be wary of, of explosion. Poison. Ah, okay. We gotta be wary. Be wary. Ruin strewn precipice. All right, looks like we made it through. That's the lift, so we are going to uh, bypass the lift completely, huh? All right. Four thousand. I wonder if we should like go back and check if we can upgrade anything. Yeah, it seems like a safe bet. Let's send a lift back down and then uh, fast travel to the round table. I wonder what happens if you choose to fast travel while a lift is moving. I wonder if that causes any problems. Not quite. I need one more spinning stone four. And a few more threes. Okay. You know, I just realized that I think we can go ask that dude over there. What's his name? Godfrey? God something. The all knowing one. His his this guy. I wonder if we can ask about like uh Nefele's location from this guy. Hey, where's your daughter? We have to more great runes now, eh? Then as your fellow, allow me to divulge a little knowledge. The inheritors of the great runes, the shard bearers. We of the round table know the location of five of them, including the one you defeated. Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale. General Radan, who fought Melania and her rot to a standstill in the Caled Wild. Praetor Rikard, 
Lord of the volcano manor of Mount Gelmir. Morgoth, the grace given. Veiled monarch and lord of Lane Dell. And Renala, queen of the full moon. Ruler of Rhea Lucaria's academy. You'll still be after more great runes, won't you? Okay, so there's... Alright, let's ask Storm, you about Godric. Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale. Despite being the blood of Godfrey, first Elden Lord, he's a grotesque old fool grasping for power. His castle lies upon the cliff to Limgrave's northwest, but I suspect you know that well enough already. Oh, okay, so we can... We can get direction about where to go. General Radan, the famed Red Lion and Scourge of the Stars, is a ferocious warrior. He fought Melania and her rot to a standstill in the Caled Wilds to Limgrave's east. And now Caled has been engulfed by the Scarlet Rot. Even approaching the region is no mean feat. I've heard survivors of Radan's army are still in the wilds, staving off the rot with fire. And if it's true, I suspect Radan is still there as well, in Kaelid. Though, I doubt he much resembles his former self anymore. Okay, so Star Scourge Radan. Something, uh, we, we gotta kill him to advance Rani's quest line. But I don't, I don't know, Kaelid is, a, Kaelid is an awful, awful place. It sucks. Alright, what about Rykard? Praetor Rykard is the lord of the volcano manor on Mount Gelmir. He is a ruthless justicia who commands a company of inquisitors, reviled for his serpentine demeanor. The volcano, Mount Gelmir, lies in the west of the Altus Plateau, the realm of the Erd Tree. It was the stage of the most appalling battle in the entirety of the Shattering. Rykard has committed the grave sin of blasphemy, marking himself as an enemy never to be forgiven. Okay, so... So I don't know the Altus Plateau and, and the volcano. We haven't even, <laughs> I haven't even heard of them until now, man. So those are two completely new areas. I have no idea where. It's probably past the Great Lift. All right, <coughs> where's more God? So the the cat the capital, right? I got transported there for like a quick, for a quick jaunt. Morgoth the Grace given is Lord of Landell, the capital city. It lies at the foot of the Erd Tree, in the east of the Altus Plateau. But the Two Fingers forbid us from venturing there, until we've acquired enough great runes to repair the Elden Ring. Set your sights elsewhere for the time being. The Veiled Monarch can wait. Okay, so that's that's like the last thing we do, right? That's the final boss. The Academy of Rhea Lucaria lies to Limgrave's north, towering over the mist-laden lands of Lyernia. Renala is queen of the Carian royals, who govern the academy, but Renala herself is no demigod. Her beloved Radagon left her to become Queen Marika's second husband, taking the title of King Consort. The great rune dwells within the amber egg that was Radagon's gift to her. Okay, what about Nefeli, your daughter? Where is she? I understand you've been speaking to Nefeli. She's my daughter. I took her in when she lost the guidance of grace. Though a mere axe-wielding barbarian, her youthful credulity suited my purposes. So I put her to work. Do not hesitate to employ her. Should her services benefit you? Despite her looks, she is more than capable in the press of battle. Where is she, though? Well, I see you found another great room. Yeah, another one. Wonderful. You are a worthy fellow tarnished indeed. Make the journey to the capital, Landell, that lies to the east of the Altus Plateau, at the foot of the Earth Tree. The two fingers will deny your passage no longer. You may be our best hope. Find your way to the Elden Ring, for we are tarnished. And we must answer the call of grace. Okay, so this guy this guy can uh, tell you about where you need to go. Journey to the cap the two things you may be. Okay. But where's where's your daughter Nephelia? <laughs> Alright. Um oh, there's a couple of things that we have to do. But I think right now we just wanna go go to the lift. Ruin Strome Precipice.
go bypass this lift. And we do need to go kill Star Scourge Radon, but um, I think we're a little under geared for that. Let's get a few more upgrades so that Caitlyn isn't as scary. Also, I can't upgrade my armor, huh? Just my weapons. More pygmies. Oh. And bats. Oh, pygmy. Oh. Bats. Die, bats. Get out of here. Oh, shit. Another one. Get out of here. I can jump. I can jump now, you know. It's a power. Hitherto unknown to Souls players, jumping and attacking. Oh no, there's something singing. It's probably one of those, one of those like human skin bats, those angels. Get some recover some health. Are these traps? Are these traps? No. Some burst smithing stone four. We need five. Can I jump this? No, no, there's no way, right? There's no way. I can't I'm not gonna be able to fucking platform that shit. This game was not designed for platforming. Let's go up. Let's go up. Ladder, please. Okay. Alright. Switch to our scimitars. We bleed those who bleed and we kill those who don't bleed. Oh, I think we can go upward. Where? Yep. Oh, but I gotta make sure I don't aggro all the bats too. Smithing stone four. All right, there's a bat. I know what that is. I know what that guy is. Let's aggro this bat. Oh, he he fell. There's a couple more bats being aggroed. Okay. Oh, whoops. Wrong weapon. Wrong weapon. Oh. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? So annoying. Oh, if you gotta send the elevator down. Why am I angry? Why am I angry that I died? Why is one of them red? Oh, more of them. I guess I'm angry because I died to a flying creature. I believe that flying creatures are cheating. Maybe? Who knows? I'm not that introspective.
Maybe I am angry at myself for dying to such a basic enemy. Or I am angry at the developers for designing an enemy specifically take advantage of roll timings to kill players. Because the developers have a desire to see players die rather than a desire to see players succeed. Maybe that's why I'm angry. But don't worry, my anger is beginning to fade. Is there another bat? Yep. So we might as well expend the arrows to kill them or, or, or not. Alright, he's dead. Now we just run. We sprint at him. We're not going to give them the time of day to get, get ready. Yep. Oh, another one. Yeah, because like, holy shit, I'm getting hit three times, I need to roll away. But that last attack is timed specifically so that if the, if the player panic rolls, it gets hit. I think that's why I'm angry. Because it feels as if the developer is taking advantage of me. Has a desire. And they would not and they wouldn't do that unless they wanted to see me die. Yeah, I think that's it. Because it feels as if the developers desire player death rather than player success. You know, because of the developers, right? They're the ones in charge of this entire game. Where is where is this? Where is this marker that I placed? Apparently, I placed a marker somewhere like this way. Right, let's follow the arrow. Oh, this one over here. There's two of them. Hmm. Hmm. I am poisoned. It certainly does feel like unfair things are happening right now, doesn't it? Alright, where is it? Wow, yep, it certainly does feel like unfair things are happening. God, the, the timings feel so unfair. Timings feel so unfair, dude. Like, all of these weird-ass timings of things are... Look, feels like they've been designed specifically 
to play around you, the player. And the developer. The only reason the developers would design something like this is because they wanted they want to see you die. That's it. That's what makes it frustrating. Actually, that's a straight up land octopus over there. Guarding some items. And we can come back for those. We're low, we're poisoned, we're low on uh we're low on flasks. We just need to make sure we get to the next checkpoint. Okay, which is right here. That's what I figured. Alright. Alright, now let's go back down to kill the land octopus. Or at least to grab some items. I mean, the land octopus isn't that fast. We can just kind of bypass him to grab some items. He does have the possibility of knocking us down. Okay. Item. Smithing stone three. Okay. And... <laughs> nice job turning around the wrong way. Serpent's curved sword. Serpent God's curved sword. What is going on? Fucking Christ! Alright. That was annoying. Man, it's like all these random little things goes wrong and you die. Alright. Um, let's go check out the weapons we got. Serpent God's Curved great, great Sword. Is it a special type of uh, weapon? A curved sword fashioned in the image of the ancient serpent deity. And a tool of a forgotten religion practiced on Mount Gelmir. Formerly used to offer up sacrifices, this sword restores HP upon slaying an enemy. Oh shit. Skill spinning slash favored by dexterous warriors. Uh, is this like a, a, a somber smithing stone item? Can I apply ashes of war to this thing? I can. That, that, that means we need to duplicate another bloody weapon, right? Or is there a, a heavy? So this increases strength. Is there like a, what was this one? A base weapon one? Like increase base damage, reduce scaling. I think that would be like, that would be like the best one to get. Yeah. What was that called? What was the upgrade called? The increased base damage, reduced scaling. Cause right now, like, um, ninety one plus twenty seven. We only we lose like a bunch. We lose a bunch of uh damage this this way to make it bloody. Nah, all right. I think we just want it how it is. Lose. Because we don't scale that much. Like, we're, we're an arcane build. We scale off arcane, but there's just not... Our arcane isn't so high that it can... You know, do a good job of scaling this guy. 
Serpent God's Curved Sword. Let's equip this over the Bloodhound's Fang and see what happens. Right. Oh shit, it's a, it's a one-handed weapon. Fuck, can I get another one of these? Can I dual wield these instead of scimitars? Can I duplicate this item? I really, I really hope, I really hope so. The last build up 75. This one has worse scaling than we do though. Thirteen plus twenty. Yeah, I mean, this this is still kind of better. All right. Unless we can get two of them. Two of those uh. Two of those serpent serpent great swords serpent curved swords. I think we can go smith uh, smith now. Strength and armament. Yep. Upgrade. Plus 12. Plus 13. Plus 7. Plus 8. No. We need more smithing stone threes. Okay. Oh. Right. We just need to fast travel. We don't need to go back to a bonfire. All right, ruin, strom, precipice, overlook. I think we might be able to get more of those serpent curved. Oh shit! What the fuck? Yeah, I think we might be able to get more of those serpent curved swords at Mount Gelmig. Right now, we're just gonna stick with our bloody scimitars. Jellyfish. Let's drink our flask. Because it's super. Because it's really good. Now let's jellyfish up. I don't see anything. Oh, I see him. Magma worm. Mike my, my car. My car. Can I cut off its tail? That's a lot of- oh shit. What the fuck? Alright, so that was a ground slam. I want to try cutting off his tail, but like, it's, it seems it's kind of hard to reach. And he seems to just have like a lot of area denial. Like he just spews magma all over the place and says no to you, a lot of your area. Yeah. That is slow. That is a slow attack. All right. Oh. Okay. All right. I want to hit his tail. I really want to cut off its try to cut off its tail. Ooh. Oh wow, okay, wow. Alright. I'm in two shot territory. This is not good.
Oh, I see. Okay. I don't think cutting off his tail is a thing. Breathing down. All right. Oh shit. Wait, it is. It is. I can't cut off his tail. It's just really fucking hard to do it. Okay. Cuz I saw I saw a little segment in there where it looks like there, there's textures for a cut off tail. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep trying. But the boss himself actually doesn't actually look that difficult. It's just that I'm trying to cut off its tail. Like I'm, I have a secondary objective other than beating the boss, so I'm trying to do that. Oh shit! a lot of like um that's a decent amount of area denial and it's still going just kind of stuck on the corner we at us now huh all right all right let's pick this up Man, what? A jellyfish is dying to the just because he's standing in fire. Still going, huh? All right. That's so annoying. That is really annoying. He's not. Yeah, I think there's a segment here. I still want to get behind him and cut off his tail. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty annoying attack. This just, just kind of moves all over the place. Looks like he's... <laughs> he can't turn. Oh, that's a that's a slow attack, right? Gotta watch, watch very carefully. Right, tail. Oh, nice tail. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. This is a tail opportunity. Alright. That's a one shot. Yep. I gotta say, I'm not a huge fan of like the extremely elongated uh, timing attacks. Like that, that up, that slam down attack took way too long. Like we're, humans are pretty good at reacting in milliseconds, or like reacting quickly, but like trying to keep track of time in your head is like it's pretty difficult for a human to do all right
like after a certain amount of time it becomes just difficult for humans to keep track of in their head at least Jellyfish is still alive. Oh, hold on. Oh, he's just attacking my jellyfish now. All right. Yeah. Okay, I kind of see what the tell is now. But I really want to fucking cut off his tail. Yeah, I see what the tell is. I see what the timing is. It's just, it's just. Come on, give me your tail. I mean, you're almost dead. I, and I still haven't cut off your tail. I spent this entire time trying to cut off your tail. Instead, you died. Dragon heart. Man, I'm disappointed. It, it seemed like his tail could get cut off. It really did. Um, let's look at our equipment. What we got. The drag magma worm scale sword. Requires 20... Uh, oh, it says faith scaling weapon. 24 strength, 18 faith. Curved great sword wielded by magma worms. The shape resembles a dragon's jaw covered in hard scales. It is said that these landbound dragons were once human heroes who partook in dragon communion, a grave transgression for which they were cursed to crawl the earth upon their bellies, shadows of their former selves. Ah, I see. So if we take too much dragon communion, we, uh, we become those things, huh? A unique skill. Magma guillotine. Grab the scale sword with both hands as a worm, as a worm will hold it in its mouth, and leap forwards, smashing it into the ground and triggering a blast of magma. Follow up with an additional input to perform a chopping attack. Serpent God's Curve. So I want another one of these. I really do. Alright, let's level up. Put more points into Vigor. Oh man, I'm gonna level up once. Darn. Vigor, yep. Our red cloak is increasing our Vigor, giving us more hit points. And now we have bypassed the Dectus Lift. I hope. I'm not sure if we're going to partake in Dragon Communion. There's really not much we want from it. If we get more uh, incantations, uh, sorceries and miracles, I don't remember what these are called. Incantations and what else? Something else? Chants? I have no idea. Anyway, sorceries and miracles, we get those. But we are not a build that uses them. Hello there. Atlas Plateau. All right, we need to kill some eagles for pinions. Please don't die. Okay, behold, overcast. What are we looking at down there? Ah, the carrier manor.
Flight Pinion. All right, let's go find the uh, the next Lost Grace, which is hopefully like right here. Got it. Ha! Yes. Now where are we? All right, I need to find the map for this place. Dectus Lift. That's a bunch of carriages. Oh, I see you up there, you little stupid. <laughs> All right, and what are these guys? What are these guys? The pumpkin heads? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Okay. Okay, at least I know that he staggers in two hits. He bleeds in, well, technically four hits, but he bleeds in two hits. And that staggers him, which allows me to punish, follow up a little bit more. Um, but otherwise, he hits pretty hard. Oh, it's just these guys. It's th it's just these guys. Oh, we're fucked. Oh no, we're still alive. Still alive. What the fuck is with this lock on? Jesus fuck. All right, upswing, kick, forward swing. Then. Oh, we get a flask for killing one of these enemies, huh? But honestly, it seems like we're... Like, other than bleed, they're really not taking that much damage. I'm wondering if we're just under-leveled now. Like, we're not actually supposed to be here, despite having gone through the Dectus Lift. I mean, despite having uh, gone through the other area. I, so I can't get off my horse right now. I can't get off my high horse. Fulgur Bloom. Alright, let's go a little further in, uh, unlock more of the, well not, I guess more of the map. Golden Roa. Right. Oh, fuck it. What the? Ancient Dragon Lancey X. What the what, fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> no thanks, buddy. All right. I wonder what level. Oh shit! Nice. We'll fight him later. Oh, nice. A golden tree. All right. Let's at least try to find the map. Okay, look. Okay, look. Here are some normal enemies. How tough are they? Not very. Okay, so I think we're fine. I think we are fine. In terms of where we're supposed to be. There it is. There it is. The map. Right here. Okay, let's mark it. Let's mark this down. Okay. Item. I gotta say though, this um, 
This is a nice change of colors, because uh, up until now it's been all either green or red, but here is a nice little golden hue. Oh, and another one, eh? I don't mind if I do. And you two are unfortunate enough to have come across me. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. So that didn't count as an enemy group. I didn't get my flask back. But... Let's, uh... Pick up this map. And let's get rid of this waypoint. Disappear. Thank you. Let's look at this. Atlas Plateau. Ooh, a Ur tree. Minor Ur tree. Another map. Ah, the Divine Bridge. That's where we got transported to for the capital city. Another, ooh, look at this. Another mine. I'm always up for, uh, up for more mines. Okay, let's see if we can't stumble across another Lost Grace somewhere along this road. Hmm, any time now. Any time now, there will be a Lost Grace somewhere along the side of the road. Yep. Any time now. Oh, fuck. Fuck, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm good. I'm good. Alright, any time now, I'm gonna see a lost grace along the side of the road. What did I tell you? There's one up there. What did I tell you? It's so, it, it's so, it, it's so obvious, man. <laughs> I'm so smart. Okay, so. Let's talk to this music playing merchant. Terribly sorry. Uh, are you here as a customer? I sure am. Let me see what you got. Dr Ancient Dragon Apostles Cookbook. One of these. Imp Shades. Unseen Assassins. Lightning Bolt. Tree Circle. Gravel Stone. Okay. Mm. Alright, let's mark you down as a merchant. Just to be consistent. Where all the merchants are. And what do you have to say, this little lady that reads palms? You, please, I can read them. Your fingers, please, your fingers. She seems pretty desperate to be fingered. to tell me about sorrow along my path I know all about that shit <laughs> what do they have to say praise the ill omened creature dung ahead be wary of love and off short offer mushroom all right let's get more flight pinions nice all right so we can craft arrows now we have supplies to craft arrows if we need them uh, looks like that one's pointing towards this way. I, I, I'm sure there's like... 
There is a, a, a there's gotta be like a bonfire somewhere in this area, right? Can't be like here and then and then and then here. It's too far. Anyways, that is gonna be it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and next time we'll explore more of this area. Probably go in those mines over there. Alright, I will see you in the next episode.